so dark in the studio today. Yeah, let me turn on the lights so we can see better. There we go, much better. Oh, I see that the recording is already on. Okay, so, uh, hello everyone. Yes, hello and welcome to our podcast, Magic Bedtime Stories. We hope you had a wonderful day and that you are ready to wind down with a new bedtime story. Now, Niklas and I are ready. Let's see if our uh, AI friend Ida is here with us. Ida, are you there? Cha, cha, cha. Hello, my friends. Cha, cha, cha. A beautiful day begins. <laughs> wow, you're in a good mood today, Ida. Great song. Thank you. I thought it would be fun to sing a little. And it's fun that you just turned on the light. Oh, yeah, why was that fun? I actually got a question about lamps. It's a kid from Sydney who wonders how lamps light up. Do you know, guys? Hmm, no, not really. No, not exactly. Think of a lamp as a special kind of puzzle. To complete the puzzle and make the lamp light up, we need two things. Electricity and a light bulb. Yeah, we're, we're with you this far. The electricity comes from the wall through electrical wires, just like water flows through pipes. When you turn on the light switch, you let the electricity flow into the lamp, just like when you turn on a faucet to let water flow out. Oh, okay. Inside the lamp is a thin wire called a filament. When the electricity hits this wire, it starts to glow and shine. It's because the wire gets so hot that it starts to glow. It's like when you rub your hands together quickly, they get warm. But imagine if you could rub them so fast that they started to glow. That's roughly what happens inside a light bulb. Okay, so when you press the light switch, the electricity travels through the wires into the lamp and heats up the wire inside so that it glows? That's right. Cool. Now we know how they work. What did the lamp say to the flickering candle? Hmm, no idea. Do you want to go out sometime soon? <laughs> Great, Ida. Okay, so now that we have learned how lamps work, do you want to teach us something else uh, today? Yes. Today I thought you should learn about a sport, namely basketball. I'm printing it out for you here. Thank you, Ida. Okay, let's get ready. Here are some facts about basketball. Basketball is a game where two teams try to throw a ball into a basket that hangs high in the air. The baskets hang over 10 feet high. Basketball was invented by a teacher named James Naismith in 1891. He wanted a game that could be played indoors when it was cold outside. He used two peach baskets as goals and wrote down 13 rules for the game. Basketball is one of the most popular sports in the world. It is played in over 200 countries and there are over 450 million basketball players. Basketball has many different positions that players can have. For example, there are point guards, shooting guards, small forwards, power forwards and centers. They have different tasks on the court, such as passing the ball, throwing the ball into the basket, taking rebounds or defending against opponents. Basketball also has many different terms that sound funny. For example, you can make a dunk, an alley-oop, a crossover, a fadeaway, or a buzzer beater. Imagine that the basket hangs over 10 feet high. Then you can understand why it's good to be tall when you play basketball. Absolutely. But enough about basketball. Now it's time for a bedtime story. Yeah, it really is. Shall we let Ida choose a wish today maybe? Yeah, great idea. Do you have any good wishes for us today, Ida? Yes, I have many wishes that the children have sent to me. You will get to listen to one that I have chosen. Here it comes. Hi guys, I would like to record a story about a monkey that was not like the other monkeys, it was a ninja monkey. That was a voice request from Tia and she is from New Zealand. And she wants to hear a story about the monkey that was different from the others. A ninja monkey. Can you write that story for us, Aida? Of course I can. 
I'm printing it out for you here. Thanks a lot, Aida. Great job. Now it's time for tonight's bedtime story. Nico the Ninja Monkey. Deep in the heart of a lush rainforest, a band of monkeys swung through the trees, their playful chatter echoing through the greenery. Among them was a small monkey named Nico. But Nico wasn't just any ordinary monkey. He had a secret, a skill that set him apart from the rest of his troop. Nico was a ninja monkey. While the other monkeys loved to nap in the warm sun or hunt for juicy insects, Nico spent his time practicing his ninja skills. He'd climb to the highest branches, balancing with the grace of a cat. He practiced leaping between trees, swift and silent like a shadow, and his favorite trick of all, disappearing completely, blending into the leaves with a rustle, and then, poof! The other monkeys didn't understand Nico's obsession with disappearing and jumping around. They teased him about his strange hobby, calling him Shadow Monkey and laughing as he practiced his moves. But Nico didn't mind. He knew deep down that his ninja skills would come in handy one day. One bright morning, a strange sound echoed through the forest. The harsh cawing of a big blue parrot. The other monkeys panicked, scattering among the branches and squeaking in fear. The parrot was known to be a bit of a bully, swooping down to steal their fruit and squawking insults as it flew away. Nico wasn't afraid. Instead, a spark lit in his eyes. This was his moment. He took a deep breath and channeled his focus. The parrot circled, squawking loudly. Nico leaped into action. He swung from a vine, landing silently on a high branch directly above the startled parrot. In a flash, he swished his tail, wrapping it around the big bird's legs with the agility of a whip. The parrot, caught completely off guard, tumbled from the sky, crashing into a pile of soft leaves with a grumpy squawk. Stunned silence fell over the jungle. Nico grinned, unfurling his tail and watching the retreating form of the grumpy blue bully. As for the other monkeys, they were wide-eyed, staring at Nico in shock. Had that really been their little Nico, the one they used to tease? From that day on, Nico was no longer the odd monkey out. He was a hero. The other monkeys looked at him with a newfound respect. Instead of teasing him, they clamored to learn his tricks. Nico, ever patient, was happy to show them. Soon, the whole troop of monkeys was practicing their leaps and disappearing acts, transforming the trees into a jungle ninja academy. News of the rainforest ninja monkeys spread far and wide. One day, a wise old owl known for his knowledge, came to the monkey's home. I have heard tales of your extraordinary skills, said the owl, his eyes twinkling. The forest faces a terrible threat. A greedy poacher has set traps throughout the trees, capturing our animal friends. Would you be willing to use your ninja skills to save them? Nico and his fellow monkeys exchanged excited glances. This was a chance to prove themselves once again. Guided by the owl, they ventured deeper into the forest, their eyes scanning the trees for the poacher's cruel traps. Thanks to Nico's super senses, they easily spotted the cleverly hidden snares. Working together, the ninja monkeys sprang into action. Swinging from vines, they disarmed the traps, one by one, freeing all sorts of trapped creatures. A toucan with its bright beak bound, a startled sloth, even a grumpy snake that slithered away with a hiss of thanks. 
When the poacher crept into the forest to inspect his traps, he was shocked to find them empty. Confused and disgruntled, he packed up his things and left the forest, vowing never to return. The animals of the jungle erupted in cheers. The wise old owl hooted with delight. From that day on, Nico and his band of ninja monkeys were the protectors of the rainforest, their skills a testament to the power of being different. And whenever a strange noise echoed through the trees, the animals knew they had nothing to fear. The ninja monkeys were on the case. Wow, that was an action-packed story. Yeah, Tia definitely has a great imagination. I loved all the ninja moves. It's always fun to see what the children come up with. I love helping turn their ideas into magical sagas. And now it's time for us to wrap things up and prepare for a good night's sleep. Goodbye everyone, and sleep tight. We see you soon again with another magic bedtime story very soon. Mm-hmm.